Welcome to Ford Power Force Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix your Ford vehicle right the first time. In this systems video, we'll discuss the purpose and operation of the diesel particulate filter system, as well as several ways to clean and maintain the system to help make sure your engine performs at its best. The diesel particulate filter, or DPF, is an inline filter in the exhaust system. It's required by the Environmental Protection Agency. It reduces carbon emissions by trapping exhaust particulates, the black soot that used to be associated with diesel engines before they reach the tailpipe. The DPF system cohabitates with the diesel exhaust fluid or DEF system, but the two systems operate independently. What the DPF system does is burn the soot into ash, which is then trapped by the filter. Reducing the size of the diesel particulate helps increase the efficiency of the filter and increase the time between clearings, a process called regeneration or regen for short. As soot gathers in the system, it begins to restrict the filter. Periodically, you'll need to clean the soot that gathers in the system using regeneration. The diesel particulate filter regenerates automatically when the engine maintains the proper temperature. This temperature is achieved when drivers maintain a constant speed of 30 miles per hour or above for more than 20 minutes or up to 40 minutes. Regeneration requires no action from the driver. For most vehicle owners, regeneration may automatically occur between 100 and 500 miles of driving and each occurrence will last from about 9 to 40 minutes. Things that may cause excessive regeneration and even damage in DPF systems include stop-and-go driving, short driving intervals, frequent use of a remote start system, aftermarket components such as air filters, air boxes, cold air kits, and shiny exhaust tip add-ons. Pay attention to the drive to clean maintenance messages, especially if you get one that reads exhaust overloaded drive to clean or exhaust at limit drive to clean now. If you overlook those messages, you will see a message exhaust over limit service now. That message is triggered by a loss of power due to a condition known as D-rate, which can result in a 20 to 30 percent reduction in torque. If you see this message, DPF regeneration is disabled until the filter is cleared by a qualified service technician. When the vehicle message center on a 6.7 liter diesel reads drive to clean, what does it mean? And why does it sometimes come on repeatedly? If the drive to clean message has been frequent, the driver might be experiencing a significant lack of power. What the drive to clean message is telling us is that the diesel particulate filter needs to be cleaned. If a vehicle is properly equipped, you can perform an operator-commanded regeneration process on a regular basis to help maintain the DPF system. Some of the vehicles that offer operator-commanded regeneration as an option include the Super Duty F250 to F550 series from 2011 to 2016, the 2017 Super Duty, the Transit, and the medium-duty F650 to F750 series. For specific details on cleaning your vehicle's diesel particulate filter, refer to your owner's manual or motorcraftservice.com. Delivery fleets, electric utility fleets, or industrial trucks have a hard time maintaining their diesel particulate filter or DPF systems. So do private owners who do a lot of low-speed, short-distance driving. Before you start an operator-commanded regeneration of a DPF system, make sure to take the vehicle outside in an area free of any materials that can easily combust or melt. This includes paper, leaves, petroleum products, fuels, plastics, and other dry organic materials such as grass. Place the vehicle in park on stable level ground and set the parking brake. Navigate to the exhaust filter status screen on your information center on the IP. Make sure there's at least an eighth of a tank of fuel. Make sure all fluids are at proper levels. 
check the louvers at the tip of the exhaust to make sure they're clear of obstructions. These holes introduce fresh air into the tailpipe to cool the exhaust gas as it leaves. Warm up the engine. Check your engine temperature gauge to be certain. You can command an OCR before the engine is warm, but you'll have to wait for the process to start. It takes some time at the elevated engine speed to warm the engine up. To perform an OCR, the operator needs to read the information center. Press the info button on the steering wheel until the message center gives you one of these prompts. This message requests permission to initiate filter cleaning when the DPF isn't oversaturated and the vehicle is warmed up. If the vehicle is warmed up and in a safe location, answer yes to this message and then follow the prompts regarding exhaust position as needed. Be sure you understand each prompt. If you're not sure, contact your Ford dealer. Once operator commanded regeneration starts, the engine's RPMs will rise to approximately 2,000 to 2,400 and the cooling fan speed will increase. You'll hear a change in sound due to the increase in engine and fan speed. You don't have to open the hood during cleaning. You can expect the operator commanded regeneration to last from about 10 to 30 minutes. Operator commanded regeneration will run automatically until completion. Upon completion, a message will appear indicating the exhaust filter is clean. If you need to interrupt or cancel the regeneration procedure, press the brake or the accelerator, or shut off the vehicle. If an OCR is interrupted, the cooling fan will stay engaged until the engine speed is raised high enough to allow it to disengage. This will result in fan noise the first time the vehicle is driven away after the interrupted OCR. If you see this prompt, it means that the system is at the point of oversaturation and gone into D-rate. You will not be able to allow cleaning. An authorized Ford dealer must service the vehicle to return it to normal operation. If your fleet has trucks with diesel particulate filters to clean, you can perform a static regeneration right outside the shop using the Integrated Diagnostic System, or IDS, scan tool. After connecting the system, log in to DPF Regeneration. The system will check the soot load in the DPF system. If it's less than 100% full, an IDS prompt will say that regeneration is not recommended, but you can still command a regeneration and fully clean the system. The IDS system will then take over operating the engine. If the engine is not warmed up, the IDS will increase engine speed until the engine and exhaust have reached the levels necessary for DPF regeneration. First, it will calibrate the RPM and stabilize the engine idle speed. Then the regeneration entry conditions must be in range. The engine coolant temperature, exhaust gas temperature, fuel rail temperature, and fuel level intake. Check the box available if all four of them are met. Next, you'll make a choice for static regen. Make sure that you run this test outside, not in the garage or the shop since internal exhaust temperatures may reach more than 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. Check the PCM for DTCs and follow all the instructions. The test will increase the engine speed to a high RPM for an extended period of time. The static routine will require the vehicle to remain stationary throughout the duration of the static regeneration. Press the tick button when you are ready. The test will begin. It can take up to an hour, and if you need to end the test, just hit stop at any time. Depending on how much soot has collected in the filter system, it might not go all the way back to zero, but that's not a problem. When it's complete, there's a short cool-down phase, a couple of minutes. And that's it. Your DPF filter system is cleaned and ready for the road. Beginning with the 2017 Super Duty Series, some vehicles will offer the option for Dynamic Regeneration Clean for the Diesel Particulate Filter, or DPF, system. A Dynamic Regeneration occurs while the vehicle is in motion and duplicates what the customer will experience. 
Please note that two people are required to perform the test if the IDS is to be monitored while driving. The system will check the soot load in the DPF system. The procedure can be used when the filter is more than 50% full of soot. Below 50%, it's not needed. The IDS system will then take over operating the engine. First, it will calibrate the RPM and stabilize the engine idle speed. Then the regeneration entry conditions must be in range. The engine coolant temperature, exhaust gas temperature, fuel rail temperature, and fuel level intake. Check the box available if all four of them are met. Next, you'll make a choice for dynamic regen. Make sure that you run this test outside, not in the garage or the shop, since internal exhaust temperatures may reach more than 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. The vehicle must be moving forward to start the dynamic regeneration. The clean will begin automatically when all four entry conditions are met. The engine coolant temperature, exhaust gas temperature, fuel rail temperature, and fuel level intake. The DPF dynamic regeneration will take about 40 minutes. Make sure the IDS scan tool has enough battery to power the unit during this time. Once the regeneration starts, Stopping the vehicle during normal driving will not abort the regeneration. The test will abort if you idle for more than five minutes in drive or place the transmission in park or neutral for more than 30 seconds. Motorcraft air filters help eliminate dirt particles that can enter through the intake system and upset the proper mix of air and fuel to the engine. They meet at least a 98.5% efficiency standard in coarse dust testing, and there's no one-size-fits-all. Each motorcraft filter is made specifically for each application for optimum performance. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that motorcraft parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Be sure to check out our series of videos for installation and repair tips for Ford engines and transmissions. Thanks for watching.